Happy Thursday, everybody, and welcome into another episode of the Brett Allen Show, a pop culture podcast where we interview your favorite actors from film and television, music, comedy. I There's a lot of places that pop culture hangs out, and if there is pop culture to be found, we will be there. And we just have had an amazing run of interviews for The Many Saints of Newark, which just released on the 1st of October. October, yes. And uh, we've had multiple cast members and we have another one today. I'm very excited about William Ludwig, who plays young Tony Soprano, uh, the younger version of Tony Soprano. There's a lot of people in this with various ages and things. You guys cover a lot, but William, welcome into the podcast. It's great to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, this is a big deal because you are playing such an iconic role and such an iconic character. And I've heard you talk about this in other interviews, but I'm very curious to find out, you know, kind of from a different angle. Um, the movie has come out. The reviews have been fantastic. The fans were waiting for this and it was just amazing. Let's talk about your experience playing the role and, and how it feels for you, uh, William, to be such a part of such an iconic uh, piece of Americana pop culture. All right. Well, I feel so lucky to be able to be a part of this. I'm so fortunate to be able to work with people like Ray Liotta, who's a mobster legend, and, and Alessandro Nivola, who is the star of the movie, who plays Dickie Moltisanti. He's such an amazing actor, and it was really cool to be able to observe him. And, and stepping into the shoes of Tony Soprano just blew my mind. It's, it's still blowing my mind. I, I'm just thrilled. Yeah, I can imagine. And to be surrounded by such a phenomenal cast. Um, and we've had other cast members on, Samson Moikuela, uh, Alexandra and Trader, Mattia Conforti. I mean, we've had other cast members on. And I tell you, like, I was a little late to the party with The Sopranos originally. I watched it a long time, probably a few years after it had ended, but had seen it and then binged watched it in preparation for this. So you get an audition. Did you know what you were auditioning for like everybody else didn't know? Or did you figure it out? Did you piece it together? I'm curious how that worked out for you. Yeah, we, we definitely did piece it together. So okay. what happened is my parents were in the car one day driving, uh, driving home and they heard on the radio that uh, Michael Gianolfini was cast as young Tony Soprano in the Sopranos prequel movie. And so they were like, oh, that's awesome. We love the Sopranos. And then about a week after that, we get an audition for Untitled New Jersey Project, Michael <laughs> Gandolfini lookalike, and the character's name was Tony. So that kind of, we kind of put it together pretty quickly and, and figured out that this was the young Tony Soprano and, and we freaked out. Yeah, I can imagine like as soon as you get that news or you sort of put things together and go, oh, this is what we're doing. We are in a Sopranos movie <laughs> of some <laughs> sort. I, I can't, I mean, I just have to think to myself how amazing this must be because you've done other things in the past, but this, if, and please correct me if I'm wrong, this is kind of like the first major project that you've oh, yes. been a part of. And what a way to start, my gosh. I mean, <laughs> have that you. on your resume, uh, the many saints of Newark, like, the sky is the limit for you, I say, personally. Thank I'm you. nobody, but I mean, the sky is the limit for sure. I'm nobody. I, I just got lucky uh, and I worked hard. And um, yeah, I, I am so blessed to be able to play this iconic role, step into these shoes. Uh, and, and, and I'm really fortunate to be able to work with Michael Gandolfini um, and kind of understand who Tony Soprano uh, is as a character and how much he means to so many people. And uh, that's how Michael and I really helped form our character together. Now, I'm going to jump out on a limb here. I'm assuming you probably didn't watch this in real time when it first came out. But did you watch it? How, how soon after you got the role? Had you been, had you seen it before in recent months or years? Or did you watch it once you found out what you were going to be doing? How, how did you kind of introduce yourself to the the original story that was on HBO, the David Chase uh, show. Right. Well, when we figured out that uh, that I was auditioning for the Sopranos prequel, uh, my dad and I, we sat down and we watched a few, a few of the first episodes of the Sopranos so I could get sort of 
uh, an idea of, of, of Tony's mannerisms and how he okay. kind of hunches back and a little bit of his lisp and his accent uh, and how he kind of scrunches his face a little bit when he talks. <laughs> um, and uh, after I booked the role, uh, we then watched the whole first season of The Sopranos, my mom, my dad, and I. And then uh, we watched a few select key episodes throughout the series um, to sort of understand more and gather more information about the show. Yeah, I mean, you know, Gabriella Piazza, I mean, oh my gosh, this is insane, this movie. And I remember a few years ago when it was first mentioned that they were going to do this and nobody knew anything, casting hadn't been done. Um, and it was just even a buzz then because people were like, we have to be a part. Uh, this is like, unbelievable because when the series ended originally, a lot of fans were split on how it ended. But if you watch this movie and it's out now, but I don't want to give away any spoilers. I will say it definitely gives the hardcore diehard Soprano fan fan service and really kind of lets you into how Tony Soprano became so prevalent and Dickie Molasante and the whole mobster thing. Fantastic. What do friends and family think, or more importantly, what do your friends think that you're in school? I mean, do they, are they just kind of blown away by this or are they, do they keep you humble and are like, Oh, that's cool that you were in a, a Sopranos movie. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, they know I love acting. Um, I don't go to an acting school. So they're, so we're all just, hanging out, we're all just being normal kids, uh, complaining about school. One of my friends then is just like, hey man, I'm proud of you, but I gotta do some math homework. And so, <laughs> <laughs> but they're really excited about uh, about me being in a movie. And, and one of my friends, Akiva, he's, he's thrilled because he loves The Sopranos uh, and he saw the movie on Saturday and he was, he was really happy about, about the ending with the theme song. Yeah, I know. It was a great film. I've watched it a few times. Thank um, you. Yeah, I watched it on HBO Max. But if you have a chance to go see this in the theaters, I recommend it to our listeners and our viewers. Because honestly, you know, we haven't been able to go into theaters for a long time. And I think it's important to support them. And really, it just allows us to continue to get amazing projects like this. And it's fantastic. So now that this is done, and you've been doing a lot of press, I know some of it was done at the premiere, you were in New York, and, and I'm assuming now you're back home. What's next for William? Like you've done this. I mean, how do you go? Where do you go from here? I guess is the big question. <laughs> That's a great question. I'm, I don't know yet. Uh, I got I'm working on school right now. I'm doing some interviews. I'm doing a mix of a mix of life and, and, and dream. Um, and I'm, I'm just trying to live life. I'm trying to be as normal as I possibly can right now. Uh, hopefully something else pops up and fingers crossed i'm gonna work yeah. hard on it well you have a great team of publicists i will tell you that so you've got that part covered and an agent obviously to be able to get this for you and honestly like in, enjoy life i say you know because really like this is such a massive thing that you've been a part of and i mean this will go on forever i mean this will live on in infamy you know what i mean like you will have this under your belt and I mean, to be able to say that one of your first major projects was a Sopranos prequel is huge. When you're not acting or playing young Tony Soprano or doing school, what do you find for entertainment? What keeps your interest moving and, and what keeps you going creatively? Well, I, I do love movies and I love watching movies. Uh, one of my favorite movies is The Shawshank Redemption, oh, which my movie. dad and I watched together. And it's so amazing. And I love... I love how 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 they told this story of these men confined into this space and they had to live and, and grow and change. Uh, but I also really enjoy sports. I play a lot of tennis. Uh, I have a game this weekend. <laughs> um, and I I like I actually really enjoy writing uh, short films or and, and films and and directing them with my friends. Uh, we have a lot of fun doing that. And we've had a few projects that we've done that for for school. That's great. I mean, if you're not doing something that's, you know, content wise, like a film or whatever, create your own content. I've said that from day one since that's why I started a podcast. So wanted to do interviews of celebrities, but, you know, what are the chances or odds of anything can happen, I guess, if you have the right yeah. mindset. But I mean, here we are talking to you. So I'd say we're both on the right path. 
One last question, William, as we wrap things up here, I'm very curious and I ask all my actors the same question. And you alluded to this earlier about, you know, being able to talk to uh, Michael Gandolfini or Ray Liotta, but maybe in this project or just in anything in, in that you've been given a piece of advice that has stood with you this entire time that's kept you motivated and kept you moving uh, just in life that you could share with our listeners, our, our listeners, our listeners, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, I've gotten, I've gotten uh, some really great pieces of advice and I've learned a lot from observing people like, uh, like Alessandro Novola. Uh, he's so great with, with making this character so real. Uh, but some, some, some verbal piece of advice I've gotten is one from, from Ray Liotta, uh, which was so generous of him. He told me that our job is so awesome. We're not better than anybody else. We got to enjoy this. We're so lucky to have this job because uh, all we got to do is we got to put some, put some gel in our hair and throw on a costume and play pretend. Uh, but just have fun and, and don't take yourself too seriously. Wow, what a great piece of advice from Ray Liotta of all people. I mean, that guy is been in every single mob movie i think that's ever been created well good fellows obviously but i don't know he's done so many other things uh even on a tv show something with jennifer lopez he played some sort of crooked cop i mean it's it's great this cast is fantastic you did a phenomenal job william in this film thank you and a hundred percent my friend and thank you for your time we are talking to william ludwig who can currently be seen in the many saints of newark which is available now nationwide in theaters it's also on hbo max streaming i think until the end of the month be sure to check it out if you haven't seen it and also check out all of our other interviews with the cast of the many saints they're all available on our website we put a starter pack together called the many saints starter pack where you can listen to all of our episodes from this amazing cast and thank you for pressing play today and listening and watching this later on the youtube channel be sure to subscribe Follow us on Apple Podcast and share this episode with a friend. It's absolutely free and it helps us move along and continue to talk to amazing, beautiful people like William. William, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Have a great day. You too.